Today's top 10 open one of the most interesting recordings I've seen recently. The YouTuber J. Rob mostly broadcasts live on his channel. He discusses with other people about NBA games or players. As you can find out, he has nothing to do with ghosts or the paranormal. But on one of his live shows, something mysterious was recorded. I just... I can't fully agree with what you're saying, Lee. So, Jimbo, I'll take my piece off last. What, 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 what about what, 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 what about in particular? Go ahead, you go first, Jimbo. I'll I agree with first. everything about the Jalen Brunson and therefore, but about the upgrading part, nah, man. Some some people got to go, and we got to bring some people in. I understand what you're saying, though. The Nets is kind of a different thing. They blew everything up to bring in some superstars, but y'all already got RJ Brunson. Y'all got Josh Hart. I think y'all need to build off of those two people. And a couple of more pieces. I do like RJ Barrett, but I don't know. It might be time for him to go as well. You never really know. So I, I say you just build off of those people. Was that a ghost? I, I just go. personally. Oh, yo, Junebug, chill out. Yo, that <laughs> wasn't even a person. Junebug, chill out. Bro, I got time for this. Yo, did we catch a ghost on stream? Bro, stop. No, stop it. Stop Jumbo, it. Chill out. I don't know. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Bro, I, I, I didn't see it. Bro, I, I didn't see lights. anything, man. I was looking. Bro, I'm, I'm turning on the lights. Stop back. playing, bro. I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at I'm it. Gonna I'm going to go look at it right now because this is what? Bro. What? What, Junebug? What happened? That was not a person, bro. This, bro, chill out. What are y'all talking no about? Way. Jay Rob, stop. Hey, yo, 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 y'all chill out, man. Hold up, man. I ain't with this. I'm bro, go no watch it for you. Relax. Please yeah. run it back. Somebody watch. Run back the clip. Please, somebody run back this clip. Oh, bro. Oh, my God. Somebody clip that. Run it back Nobody at five knows. minutes. I don't know what y'all talking about. Run it back about. at five minutes. Oh, uh, no, I'm going to put the lights on. But yeah, 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 yeah. Do that. No. No, no, no. Hey, Christy, please, bro, you somebody, ain't got no parent. Somebody, please cut that back. Oh, somebody, please cut that back and clip it. Oh, you ain't got no, you ain't got no paranormal bro. up in there, bro. Like, nah, but let's, uh, but hey, nah, J, chill J, out. J Rob, no, just, okay. J Rob, Yo, J -Rob, J -Rob, J -Rob. what was this? <laughs> what the f I'll see. I'm not playing no more. The four men are talking when suddenly we can see something disturbing on Chris's webcam. Behind him, we can see a dark silhouette walking to the left. One of the men notices this and tells Chris, who doesn't know what they're talking about, because he is completely alone. Then J. Rob rewinds the video and also sees the mysterious silhouette. Did they manage to record a real ghost on camera during a live broadcast, or was it some glitch or distortion in the camera? You decide, folks. Patrick, Jason, and Jeremy from the channel The Haunted Side. This time, they went investigating the 140-year-old cop mansion in Virginia City, Nevada. The owners have reported tons of paranormal activity inside. The owners asked the team to conduct an investigation. Patrick, Jason, and Jeremy, upon arrival, began to check the entire building with the SLS camera. Then, they went upstairs, where things started to get interesting. All right, dude. I just got like a what? cold chill up my spine, dude. I saw something go from your back to the stairs. Dude, it literally felt like something was in my shirt. Yeah. It seriously went over to the staircase just then. I'm not even kidding you. Cool. What was that? Something got thrown. What was that? Was that down the stairs? No, it landed on the stairs and rolled down the stairs. It, to me, it sounded like it rolled, came up the stairs. It sounded like it landed by his feet and then rolled down. To me, it sounded like it came from here and came up. But I'm wondering if... Oh. And was it the stairs creaking? Oh, dude. It just said pin. Oh, well, do you hear that? No. Yeah, don't pin me up in this no, bunch. I, heard, I heard the same noise, but down there. What the f***, dude? Huh. I just saw a whole body right there. In the night in, in the room, yeah. In that room. In, on the camera or with your no, eyes? No, with my eyes, man. It just said kiss. <sighs> Dude, I'm like, I gotta go down the stairs. This is freaking me out. I don't see anything down here, guys. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that, dude? What? What the hell was Did that? Did you hear? It sounded like somebody run in that room. Did you hear that? I did, yeah. What, what was that? that? Whoa. 
What was that? I don't know. Where was that? It sounded like, it sounded like metal it or something. You. When the men were on the second floor, they heard noises from downstairs. The crew descends the stairs. Suddenly, Jeremy notices a full-body apparition. Moments later, he and Patrick heard running in the hallway. After what they had experienced, they located themselves next to the stairs, where apparently the activity was the strongest. Are you angry with us? Did you hear that? I heard a man's voice just say, go. Did you not hear that from up there? No. I heard it go. There's a female voice in the background, not as loud as the male voice. Did you hear that footstep behind me? Mm -hmm. I really hope that was one of you. Nope. That was weird. I just watched it come down Did the you stairs, see man. That? I just watched it come down That's the stairs, Patrick. Right? Patrick. No. No. I just watched it come down stairs, Patrick. Something just touched my hand. Turn. It wasn't the wall. Dude, is somebody in that room? Is somebody in that room? I hope no. Go down there. There's no Walk there. halfway down that hallway. There's nobody in there. I just saw a shadow in that room. Male voice, couldn't make it out. I will, male voice. What will you do? Chair. Chair? Why is that beam all f***ed up up there? You know what I, I mean? I just felt yeah, a dude. footstep right there. Yeah, that beam looks Something like Something coming wide. down the stairs. God. You see that? It looks like it's smudged, that beam. Yeah. Dude. Are you be I feel like a, a breeze of coldness. What is that, Patrick? What do you see? I just saw literal... My throat is like killing me. Like a whole me. beam walk by, and I heard it. You see that? This, the... The night vision, this just died. It just come... Everything's dying oh, right now. Hey guys. Oh. Everything's dying. All right, let's go, guys. Oh. Let's go. Oh, God. Let's go. Let's go. Do you see moving? Yep. There was like a scream. Oh, God. Let's go. Let's go. Do you see moving? Yep. Oh, God. Let's go. Let's go. Do you see moving? Yep. This oh, God, just. Please. Let's go. Let's go. Come let's on. Go. Let's go. Guys, let's get the. Dude. Guys, let's get the. Right here. Oh. oh, dude. Let's get the. Out of here. I'm not Dude, oh, hold on, hold Guys, on. It just touched my hand. Oh god. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Take Guys, a breath. Seriously? Take a breath. It's okay. Patrick, that looked like Peter Pan, dude. Like straight up, like the shadow running across the wall. Something just touched my side. Oh, I okay, that. dude. When Jason experiences an unpleasant ghost encounter on the stairs, Patrick and Jeremy hear something in the rooms ahead of them. Suddenly, Jeremy notices a shadow moving inside. Now it's getting intense. Suddenly, the devices die one by one, and Patrick and Jason record a shadow flying across the room in front of them. After that, the team has had enough, ends the investigation, and leaves the building. Did they manage to record paranormal activity and shadow figure on camera that terrifying night? As always, the final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this investigation, visit their YouTube channel, The Haunted Side. The next recording comes from TikTok, where we'll see a night shift worker, who works completely alone in the warehouse and transports loads. Suddenly, something caught his attention. The man immediately pulled out his phone and recorded this. ¿Qué onda? Ando aquí comando unas tarimas en el monte, y desde hace rato siento como que algo se asoma de allá atrás. A ver si lo, si lo alcanzo a grabar. Mira, 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 mira. ¡Ah, la verga! Mira. ¡Ah! Mira. 
No mames, si se vio. ¡A la verga! Pero no hay nadie. Aquí adentro estoy yo solo. At some point, a dark silhouette emerges behind the pallets. The worker immediately goes to check it out, but when he arrives, no one is there. What was that, folks? A real ghost recorded on the camera or just a TikTok hoax? Choose wisely. Carl and Stuart from the YouTube channel Most Haunted Official went to one of the most famous haunted places in England. Norchester Prison was built in 1795. This sprawling and ominous building was built with the central atrium, with multi-level cell block wings radiating from this central hub. Over the years, buildings were added and changed to be able to accommodate the amount of prisoners being sent there. 33 people were hanged in Dorchester from 1800 to 1941. The last public hanging here took place on the 10th of August, 1858, when James Seal was hanged at the prison gates for the murder of Sarah Ann Griffey. With increasing cost, the prison was effectively closed in 2013 and formally closed in January 2014. Plans were drawn up for a redevelopment scheme, but it was revealed that many bodies of those executed or died in prison were still buried within the grounds, delaying the site's rejuvenation. With such a history, no wonder this foreboding structure is said to be full of phantoms and spirits from its past. Cell doors slam with regular occurrence. Figures and dark shadows are seen walking the deserted prison blocks. Sounds and cries of those incarcerated have been heard all over the building, and a dark entity is sent to stalk those who enter the prison. With this in mind, Carl and Stuart have one night to find out if this prison really deserves to be called haunted. When the investigation is underway, they both hear a piano playing, which makes them a bit uneasy. You can't really see that. There is a red cross in the middle of that window. But you... Have you got your torch on, Stu? You shine it on this window just so I can show the guys at home. Right, now I'm going to go to normal vision. See that. There you go. See the blues and the, the red. And uh, how cool is that? Me. Whoa, piano. That was it, Carl. That's, that's it, that's the piano. Well, that just went off, and there's no one there. I, I, I've got. I was on that straight the keys, away. The keys are facing me, and it looks like one of the keys is down now as well. Have a look. There. Stop. You see the key? It looks like it's down from where I'm standing. That's it. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh. While they're in the room with the piano, suddenly an unknown force presses one of the keys, which terrifies both men. For several minutes, they try to explain how it happened, but they can't explain it rationally. The men decide to split up and go to other parts of the prison. What happened to one of them is kinda chilling. Were you a nasty bastard? You were. Be nasty to me. There's a, I'm not sure if you can hear it, there's a bell going off outside. Worst time you can possibly have for a bell to go off. Come on, show yourself behind me. If you're here. Fuck me. Hello? That was a fuck door slamming and it was down here. Speak to me, please. Are you male or are you female? I just heard. Was that you? Can you do it 
again. Can you make that sound? So I want from the other side. Are you ganging up on me? Do you want are you pushing me in this cell? Well I'm in the cell. Come on then. Close the door. You think you can? Shitting myself. Carl is clearly not liked by the entity. The door slams next to him three times, scaring him to death each time. Indomitable, he continues its solitary exploration. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? Voice up here then. I wasn't sure. Okay. Let's see what we've got down here then, shall we? Hello? Is anyone here? I'm in this corridor. I'm on my own. Can you show yourself to me? If you want to scare me, you can. If you want to talk to me, you can. No. If you were talking to me earlier and you made a noise. Bloody hell. These are just big empty rooms. If you want to communicate with me, you can. Okay, just. I don't want to. Hello? Carl walking through the prison. He hears a man scream behind him. After verifying that no one is with him, he walks on. A few seconds later, the door slams shut behind him. After everything he has experienced, Carl wants to end the investigation and runs to Stuart. Did they manage to record a malevolent spirit that apparently doesn't want their presence during their stay that night? Or maybe everything we've seen is easy to explain. You are the judges. You decide. Also, if you want to watch the full episode and many more, visit his YouTube channel Most Haunted Official. Gutchan, Daichan, and Yazuki from the Clip Store channel were visited by a mysterious man this time who told them an interesting dark story about a certain place. The man also visits haunted places, and this time, to test his courage, he went to an abandoned inn. 
While exploring there, he came across a woman who, as he claims, seemed to know the place well and acted as if she lived there. What's the strangest thing? The man tried to make contact with the woman several times, but she didn't seem to notice him. After a few months, the man visited the location again, but this time he didn't meet anyone there. After returning and talking to people, he realized that he met the spirit of a woman who had died there. After hearing this story, the team wanted to go there even more. During the night, they managed to capture practically nothing, but if they did, it was probably the wind. But towards the end, they came up with a plan to leave Yozuki inside and talking to him on the phone. What he managed to record is spooky as hell. え、カメラが倒れた。もうちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっと。え、止まって。ちょっと一回手を直します。何何 どういうことだ。え、勝手に。え、バランスイート置いとったよ。ちょっと待って。一回倒れ直します。え、あ、え、うん。どうしよう。あ、え、やすけさん、やすけさん。ちょ、ちょ、あ。え、そう。During his time alone, Yazuki sits quietly in the room. Suddenly, the camera falls down. Yazuki walks over and puts it back upright. Nothing supernatural, right? Well, Yazuki didn't know something. When Gachan and Daichan talk to him on FaceTime, they notice that when he tries to raise the camera, a creepy hunched figure of a woman appears behind his back. The figure appears completely out of nowhere and just as mysteriously disappears. Then Gachan and Daichan go to Yazuki, who, unaware of what happened behind his back, hears about the whole situation. Was it the spirit of the dead woman that the stories circulate in the society or was it all just a well-prepared hoax? Decide, folks. Kevin and Alexis from the Extinct File channel went to another abandoned building with a dark history. Just a few years ago, it was a working restaurant where many, usually wealthy people, spent their evenings. But what happened there one night will stay in your mind for a long time. An unknown pregnant woman was brutally murdered. Employees, not wanting the news to spread, buried the woman somewhere in the restaurant, where to this day it is not known where. Kevin and Alexis arrived under the cover of night. When they got to the building after a short walk, they recorded this. No mames, güey. Es increíble el hecho de estarla escuchando ya en varias ocasiones. Pero el grito, ¿sabes qué es lo que me me da mucha curiosidad? Que se escucha De pronto se escucha por allá, de pronto se escucha por allá, de pronto por allá, como si se escuchara de todos lados. Exacto, exacto. Ah. 
Uy, güey. Ay, Dios mío, vamos para acá. No mames. No, no Uy, mames. Mames, Kevin. No mames, Alexis. Kevin, Kevin, no mames. ¿Viste eso, güey? Sí, güey. Cabrón, qué pedo. Ahora, oh, no mames. Hola. Hola. ¿Qué pedo? No mames, güey. Kevin, no mames. Dime que tú también la viste, por favor. ¿También la viste? As Kevin and Alexis head to the building, they both notice someone inside watching them. The thing then disappears. Men run without thinking inside, but there is no one. They continue, but a mysterious figure follows them. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios y Madre Nuestra, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Padre nuestro que estás en los cielos, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase, Señor, tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día y perdona nuestras ofensas también como nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos de todo el mal. Amén. Amén. La madre, güey. Algo pasó ahí al fondo, ¿eh? No sé si fue una persona real, eh? While on the building, Kevin notices a silhouette trying to hide from them. They both continue until the mysterious figure stands in their way again. Increíble lo que está pasando en estos momentos. Increíble. Increíble, ¿eh? En verdad increíble, güey. Mujer, si estás por aquí, puedes verte, puedes manifestarte, puedes aparecerte. Queremos verte, queremos conocerte. ¡No mames! ¡No mames, güey! ¿Qué pedo? ¡No! No mames, no mames, güey. Otra vez. Ven, 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 ven. Ven. Acá. Hey. Mujer. No. No mames. Te lo juro que la ve aquí, güey. No mames, Kevin. Te lo juro. Don't be alarmed. No te alarmes. No te alarmes. Ok, ok. Gracias, gracias por manifestarte. Gracias, mujer, por aparecerte. Muchas, muchas gracias. Te lo juro que la vi, güey. Y ahora la vi mucho, mucho, mucho más que hace rato, ¿eh? Mucho más que hace rato. Es aquí, güey. Aquí está, güey. En este, en esta área. As at the beginning, as this time, they notice a mysterious dark figure staring at them. When they point the flashlight, the silhouette quickly disappears, and Kevin and Alexis run to see who it was. But as usual, no one is there. Did Kevin and Alexis record the ghost of a murdered woman who haunts the area during an overnight investigation? Or maybe it's some kind of creepy stalker? Let me know in the comments below. Another recording is from the YouTube channel Your Scary Place. Mr. K was contracted by an anonymous informant who found something interesting during his last exploration of the Okutama ropeway. In one of the abandoned buildings, in one of the rooms, there was a camera which, of course, the man took home with him. But what he saw on it was downright chilling.
On the recording of the exploration, we can see how a mysterious figure emerges from behind the wall, which scares the man so much that he left the camera he holds and he runs away without thinking. After seeing this video, Mr. K and Abe went to the exact same place. ここ。あ、これ、こっちだ。これだよね。この壁だったよね。うん。ワイヤーもなんかでしたし。え、ビデオカメラ。え、全然なくない?うん。何待って、落ち着いて、落ち着いて、落ち着いて。何え何がなった
Allegedly, illegal experiments were carried out inside during the years of the building's operation, and now the souls of people who died there wander around the building. Upon arrival, Takeyushi set up his gear and waited for activity. During the quiet night, Takeyushi did not experience any strange phenomena, besides other people who explored the building. But at some point, one of his experiments went wrong. The balloons that were supposed to lure the spirit of the boy often seen inside began to burst one by one. However, this wasn't the first strange behavior of the balloons that night. A few minutes earlier, Takeyushi had managed to record something even more terrifying. <laughs> When the balloon started to move, Takeyushi goes to the room and takes a picture. Unfortunately, he fails to capture anything, so he goes to his base. But have you noticed anything? As Takeyushi walks through the corridor, his camera records the mysterious shadow-shaped figure of a boy that is visible for literally a second. Is it possible that the boy's spirit managed to show itself to him? Was it really a ghost? Or maybe you folks know the answer. Tell me in the comments below. The last video is from the channel We Do Crazy Things, where this was captured during the live stream. No, witajcie na live. Tak jak mówiłem, jestem tutaj sam. Internet słaby, bo jestem w podziemiu. Kilka czasami um, tutaj 
płata figle w takich miejscach. <śmiech> Więc mam nadzieję, że um, będzie, będzie w porządku. Bo czasami wydaje nam się, że um, słychać jakieś dziwne dźwięki, tak? Jakieś odgłosy. Więc oby było, było dobrze. Tak. A wy co robicie? Zimno. Ja się boję tak sam chodzić. No, jest trochę strasznie, ale wiecie, dajemy radę. Tak, jestem sam. Jestem całkowicie sam. No i zobaczymy, jak będzie, tak? Piszecie, nie widzę, dasz radę. No, postaram się. Mam nadzieję, że. Ej, tam ktoś był, kurwa, tam ktoś był. Ja pierdzielę. While talking to the chat, something clearly catches our attention in the background. Something is clearly moving in the entrance. It turns out that some mysterious head is watching the man. When the male goes to the exit in one of the rooms, he notices a silhouette that scares him so much that he leaves the building. So, folks, real or fake, decide.